In the middle of a thousand square miles of nothing, something has appeared. Something beyond logic. And Major Ben Darnell has been brought in to figure it out. two days ago, that's when they saw it. Saw so what? Look over there. Go ahead. Take a closer look. can't go in. We can see, but we can't hear them. Are they aware of us? Apparently not. It tingles. It's electromagnetic. What the hell is this? You tell us. You're the one with the physics degree. <laughs> the barrier seals it completely. It's a perfect cube. Whatever this thing is, it may be the scientific find of the century, and by the grace of God or pure dumb luck, it's a U.S. Army that's found it. I've seen one individual. You've verified that there are five people living in here? That's correct. I'm flying out to personally brief Generals Mason and Scott. While I am gone, you will figure out precisely what this prairie phenomenon is. Yes, sir. But if we can't hear what they're saying, I assume you brought in a lip reader. U.S. Army intelligence doesn't have its own lip readers. We borrow them from the damn CIA. So we'll call the CIA. That's a negative, Major. This is a strictly U.S. Army operation. That's how it's going to stay. Are we clear? Briggs. Yes. I should be in at 2200. We can debrief on the way. Yeah. What have you heard?
Visually, the effect is like looking through a ben. giant window, a one-way window, maybe some reality that exists along parallel lines. According to every instrument I have, the prairie, the house, the people, ben. none of it exists. Danny? I'm back here. Doing a little thinking. Some things aren't testing out. Got to look at it from another angle. Yep, silica, felsbar, magnetite. The kids would look at it and see a giant sandbox. Yeah, my two would have a field day out here. How's the lease? We don't talk much anymore. I'm real sorry, Ben. It's just, he slipped away from me, Dan. I had a hold of him and he slipped away from me. I didn't see something. <laughs> Fairy tales to the kids. Or is it Bible stories? <sighs> did modern life get too fast or did we just forget how to be happy? Mm. They do look happy, don't they? It's a Norman Rockwell painting come to life. Mom's not wearing a wedding ring. Must be widowed or divorced. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> So much for our backup generator. Can I get a hand here? Yes, sir. Let's get those Tell guys moving. Back. leak, insulation burn. We'll get it back. Here's what I need. A welding torch, some metal tubing, and ice. Lots of ice. Sergeant, you're to keep this device filled with ice at all times. Timer's set to shoot an ice cube every three seconds. Yes, sir. If a cube breaches the barrier, you're to note the time and alert me immediately. Why ice cubes? They'll melt. We don't want to alarm the prairie people. You actually think something will get through? The barrier dropped long enough for a certain amount of smoke to pass. And if it dropped once, I'm betting it'll drop again. Sergeant. Evening, sir. Rabbit. Evening, sir. Me. 
Major! Major Darnell, sir! The barrier's down! Day five, the barrier has dropped. Now it's been four times, and each time for exactly 15 seconds. The intervals have been irregular, but soon I hope to predict when the next one will occur. I've kept this data to myself. The army remains on hostile alert, which seems ridiculous. I spend much of my time watching the prairie people, their happy and loving family, the kind of family I've always wished for. I feel I know a certain amount about them, especially the woman. Sometimes when it's become night here in the desert, it's still twilight for her. She seems so separate from the others. There's a deep loneliness in her eyes, which she hides from her family. I can almost feel her heartache. I've got to find out who she is, she and her family. If I could learn what they're saying to each other, I think I might have my answers. This is Major Ben Darnell. Patch me through to the CIA liaison office. General! All men! Where's Major Darnell? I gave you a direct order. No CIA personnel. General. I canceled your lip reader. General. Major wait. Darnell, you are officially relieved of your duties. I'm shipping you out. You can't. Don't you want to know what's going on here? I got a grip on it now. Mister, you are on the first chopper out of here. You let your chance slip by. And don't you open your mouth. I'm about a rat's whisker from throwing your ass in the stockade. I'm not letting go of this. I'm not. Mister, you get your hands off of me. No, no. I, I'm the only one. If I'm gone, you're never going to find out. Captain Holman, you placed this man under arrest. Dan, it's all right. Come on. facing court-martial. You know that. Briggs says if you explain everything you've come up with, he'll go easier on you. Ben, did you ever figure out the pattern of the barrier wink-outs? Look, if there's anything I can do, if you want me to call anyone. Danny.
Sergeant. <laughs> You're starting to lose your mind there, Rasky? <laughs> yes, sir. Open again. I don't know. What happened? The old man. He closed the window. That old man made everything disappear with a few words out of that book. These windows must be more common on their world. The old man must have known when he saw the stranger that he'd come through a window, so he closed it. It's fine with me. Let it be closed. God rest you, Ben. Wherever you are. Now the window looks out onto us, and it's only a matter of time before the window opens and they join us for dinner. Meet Gerald and Ben, two strangers who met in the woods. They've each come to the wilderness looking for peace and quiet. They're not going to find it.
despite national trends to the contrary, our crime rate is actually soaring. Do you realize there's been a murder every single weekend this summer? Wow. <laughs> six psychosexual murders in six weekends, Dick. Are the killings connected? The police think so. I hate to say it, but uh, at this point, I think it's... Road rage has reached epic proportions in the city. Statistics show... Cut her husband's head off and kept it in the freezer. She claims that it was self-defense. Mm. The weekend killer. Will he strike again? Police have yet to... An explosion ripped through a local mall today, killing almost 100 people. Taxidermy. Sick hobby or healthy obsession? Tonight, we'll meet up... People are dead, including... <laughs> The red-eyed Vario plays the role of surrogate mother to the baby cowbird and attempts a feeding. Here in the Archer State Park, she has 50,000 acres of wilderness to nest in. Think of it, 50,000 acres, peaceful, tranquil, untouched and unspoiled by man. Just a few hours away from the city. Getting away for the weekend, huh? Boy, do I need it. <laughs> well, put your campfires out. Don't litter. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Now, calm down. Get a grip. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey. Get over here. Come on. No, 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 no. Take it easy. Take it easy. Thought you were a grizzly bear. <laughs> he's all right. Yeah, he's my grizzly alarm, but he's more bark than he is bite, aren't you, buddy? Huh? Just pet him. Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry we disturbed you. I didn't know there was anybody else out here. Yeah, um... My, my tent's right over there. Well, you better get back to your beauty rest. You look as though you could use it. Yeah.
Morning, neighbor. <laughs> Shut up, or I'll crack your skull up. Quiet! Get a grip. No, from last night. 200 bucks on a beady in school, the dog is still as dumb as a box of rocks. <laughs> How about some coffee? No, thanks. Listen. Where'd you hear this? I stumbled over a pile of bear crap this morning the size of a Honda. Fresh as a daisy, too. I think we may have company. Um... I'm sorry. Could, could could you turn the radio down a bit, please? The hell of a bother, I'll turn it off. Thank you. Look, I, I don't want to be a jerk, but there's like 50,000 acres of wilderness out here, and... Anyway, I, 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 there's just no reason for us to be camping right on top of one another. So I was thinking that since I was here first... I hunt maybe and fish out here all the time. And uh, this is a free country. If you think it's too crowded around here, move. gonna catch anything that way. What kind of bait are you using? Hey, I, uh, I got some extra flies if you want them. Give me that pole. No, that's okay. Oh, give me that pole. Come on, give me Look, that pole. I don't mean to be rude no, or anything, no, but no, I... No, 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 I'm the one that needs lessons and manners, huh? No. No, I had no right to run you off like that this morning. Like I said, it's a free country, huh? You can camp anywhere you want to, okay? That's okay. Thanks. <laughs> I, I really just want to chill out and, and be alone for the weekend. Hey, I can totally get behind that. I'm just like you. That's why I come up in the first place. Now, you, you live in the city, don't you? Huh? You know, all, all that traffic and noise. Not to mention the, the, the sick freak show that, that, that humanity has become these days. You know what I mean? Uh, men wearing women's clothes. Uh, you know, something that just makes me want to puke. Hell, hey, what, what about the sick bastard killing people on the weekends? Even on Sundays, huh? Look, I got this friend of mine, and he, he used to be a cop. He's a taxidermist now. An ex-cop was a taxidermist? Yeah, yeah, right. He told me that he'd heard from a cop friend of his that this, this weekend killer he cuts the tongues of his victims out. Oh, God. The cops say he's holding on to them for trophies. Now, they haven't released that information to the public yet. I'm Ben, by the way. Gerald. How you doing, Jerry? Yeah, did you see, see those grizzly bear tracks back there? Look, Ben. Those huge footprints, huh? Do you know the skeleton of a grizzly bear looks exactly like a skeleton of a man? Mm -hmm. Honest to God, you strip the meat away from a grizzly bear, looks like a ten-foot-tall person. Except for the skull. Oh, look, the skull's enormous. It's look, a huge it, it, skull. It's been really nice and talking to you. But I really think I should be you, you can see some grizzly bear teeth now. that long. Aren't you going to try uh, your new fly? No offense. But I really, really want to be by myself and enjoy the peace and quiet. As a free country, enjoy the rest of your weekend. You too.
trying to prove? Huh? Hmm? Hello? Am I speaking a different language here? Did I not distinctly tell you that I wanted to be left alone? You want a drink, Jer? I want you to stop following me. Yeah. What, 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 playing human checkers here? First I move, then you move, then I move, and then you, you follow me to, to hell and back? Is that it? You know, usually I'm a happy camper, but... <laughs> You're starting to piss me off. Nobody's following you, pal, because you ain't that nice. You ain't even that pretty. So don't get your panties in a bunch, Jer. Alfo's dead. Grizzly must have got him. I don't know about that, Jerry. I don't know. Well, what else could it be? I see it was a grizzly bear. He, he would have been tore up worse than that. Now, some of these monsters up here are more than a thousand pounds. Yeah. Tell the truth. That looks like a knife wound. Oh, my God. Jerry, I've been mulling it over. I think it probably was a grizzly that tore his throat open. Their claws are like razors. Well, maybe you better leave before something else happens. I'll leave you out here alone? No way, Jerry. I'll be fine. No, 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 no way, Jerry. I wouldn't do that to you. No, no, we, we got to stick together. Go home. And mourn your dog. Uh, that bear, that bear is still out there. He knows where we are. No. From now on, I go where you go. No. No, no, no. No, 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 Jerry? no. Jerry! Jerry! What scared you? Jerry, did you see something? Jerry! Jerry, where are you? 
see the bear? Is that why he ran? See, we're safe as long as we don't have food in the tent. Food, Jerry. See, food is a, is a bear magnet. Grizzly bears, see, they, they have this tremendous appetite. Will you shut up about your damn bears? Enough about grizzlies! <laughs> I have tried and tried to be patient with you. Something wrong, Jerry. <laughs> Just wanted to take the weekend off. Just one lousy weekend. Is that so much to ask? No. I, 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 I even tried killing your dog, but you still wouldn't leave. You did what? I was doing you a favor. It was either you or the dog. What, 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 what about the bear? Well, there, there is no bear. I, I bear. I, I, I shut up. I said shut up. Talk and talk, but you don't say anything. It's just noise. <laughs> Quiet, please. Enjoy the park? You try taking the weekend off. It's not easy. <laughs> Tell me about it. I'm working on a Sunday. <laughs> I know the feeling. Bye bye. report no murders in the city. Oh, that's good news. Maybe the weekend killer finally took a weekend off. There's a lesson to be learned here. When someone tells you to hold your tongue, do it. Or they just may do it for you. <laughs>